Vikings interviewing Mike Pettin to potentially be the next defensive coordinator for the Vikings. No! Gross! All right, let's do it. We know the Vikings have interviewed a handful of people to be the next defensive coordinator for the Vikings. Now they are interviewing current assistant head coach Mike Pettin to potentially take this defense over. I can only imagine what the comments are going to be like. Uh, I can't think of this being very good news for Vikings fans, myself included. Uh, this is disgusting, but we're going to talk about it anyways. Um, Mike Pettin, 3-4 guy. We know he's been around the league. If you want to see his full resume, go look it up. He's been in the league since the early 2000s, bounced around head coach, defensive coordinators. Um, you know What I most remember him for is his Green Bay Packer defense coordinators, which we're going to talk about. But him and Kevin O'Connell, deep, deep-rooted connections. They've uh, Whether it was the Jets, the Browns. So it makes sense why Kevin O'Connell brought him on. When he originally brought him on, I, I think it was more of a, uh, more of just having that veteran presence, some guy who's done it, some guy who's been around the block. You could say, maybe say, you know what, Kevin, this is not a good idea. Don't do that, do this, I got burned. Uh, which is great, but nobody wants him to be our defense coordinator. It sounds disgusting. Uh, looking at his defenses that he has been defense coordinator for, they haven't, even, they haven't been like overly dominant by any means. They've been all over the place. Um, looking at the Packers, uh, when the Packers let him go, look at most of their gripes were the fact that he just didn't really learn from his mistakes. He didn't change much. Uh, a big thing that stuck out to me is that his coverage, his coverages were very soft, how he'd have his cornerbacks way off the wide receivers, which we've seen way too much of that. Um, he would keep his 3-4. He does run a 4-3 as well. But uh, here's the big thing. Let's cut to the chase. Why won't they have hired him during the season? Uh, Ed Donato was clearly, clearly struggling. Why wouldn't they hire him during the season and say, all right, man, you give this a shot. Uh, and if it pans out, great. Maybe we look at bringing you back as our defense coordinator next year. They didn't even do that. They didn't give him a single, single shot. I think Kevin O'Connell is doing Mike Pettin just a solid, doing him a favor. Hey, come on in for an interview. But when all is said and done, I don't think there's any way in hell that Mike Pettin gets this job. Can you imagine the fan base uh, uh, even some of the players, maybe. I mean, maybe Petten's a really likable guy, but just the thought of the same old, same old yuck. We need to tear this defense down. All new coaches uh, and somebody from outside. When you talk, think about Brian Flores or, or some of these other guys we've interviewed who are kind of more up and coming, new age defense, uh, gets us all excited. Old school, Mike Petten. I mean, you, you, hang on as the assistant head coach if you want, but don't touch your defense. Let me know in the comments, and uh, be sure to join Mr. Lupagus tonight live.